Hey. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Guitar Hero 5000, and today is the day, the day you've been waiting for. Today I'm going to finally change the sardine can drum on my guitar. Okay, maybe you weren't waiting for it, but a lot of you have asked, how do I actually get this on here? What's the story behind it? Um, all that stuff. And uh, you're going to learn a lot today, I, I think. Uh, so, here we go. Um, now, there's nothing really wrong with this sardine can drum. Uh, it's just, I mean, if you can see, there's a lot of cracks and stuff like that. Like, it's starting to come apart. And this has never happened with any of the other ones that I ever had. Um, but, you know, just to give you a little background, this is a sardine can, the top of a sardine can, Goya sardines, to be specific. And it, uh, it also doubles as a snare drum. Today I gotta I gotta take it off. I gotta take it off. Um, it's becoming a bit of a danger. This is pretty sharp and it's just coming apart. So you 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 get to see me do it. All right. So here we go. First of all, gotta just take it off. There we go. By the way, this has been on here for two years. Okay, two years. Um, there's a there, there was a point where I used to change the sardine can like every two weeks, um, but I just started to get really good at using one that was old. Uh, because, you know, after a while, it does change the sound. Um, so, you know. Uh, but after, after a while, after a few years of me having it on, like, it didn't bother me when one was two weeks old. And then it didn't bother me when one was, like, a one month old. And then it didn't bother me when one was five months old. And somehow, having one here for two years, this has been, by the way, this has been in at least ten countries. At least. Um, I had it on the cruise ships. Um, I had it on, yeah, the, I think the first video I did with this on YouTube was the one where I did the flashback for 2016, um, pop songs. And I think I changed it right before that video. And then it's been on there since the beginning of 2017. It's, it's now the beginning of 2019 and it's gotta go. It's gotta go. This scene, this is scene. I took this to Europe. I took this to the Caribbean countries. I took this to... You know, so many awesome places. So, but it's over. It's over. You gotta go, bro. This has been on two guitars, actually. So, yeah. A lot of memories here. All right, well, let's get to it. So, here's the thing. Um, people used to tell me all the time, you know, don't have one. Yeah, like, don't, like, you know, don't cut them out of cans and then just put them on a the guitar like that. Make sure you use a can that, 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 you know, cuts it in different ways so you can get, like, the rim so that it's not a sharp edge, it doesn't ruin your guitar. I never ever listened, never listened. Actually, no, I did listen once. And so I had, I took this, um, yeah, this is one, this is one that came off of a, uh, of a can opener that does keep the rim on, so the edges are not sharp. And I did, I did cut them out years ago with that, um, but I didn't like the sound, it sounded totally different. So, I don't know, you heard me, you heard me, you heard me play it, you know, you heard me play that old one. This one, this one, it's just too much treble. Just like, just, I don't like it. So, by the way, I've had, I've had these for at least four years. Uh, they're, just, they're pretty rusted. As you can see, uh, inflation is quite, it's quite uh, an issue. Uh, Cause you'll see that, uh, I think, this one was well. This one is two. This one is two dollars and nineteen cents, and the they're not selling this cheap right now. So, but I have a plan. I have a plan here. Here's, here's what we're gonna do. All right. So, I'm gonna try to see if I can cut off this rim here with a with a can opener. So, in Spanish they call this abre latas, and you know you know why I learned how to say that, right? Not because I needed to ask for one at the store, but because I needed to make that video. Remember that video where I taught you how to play Despacito with the, uh, with the percussion? And I did the whole thing in like a Spanish accent. Um, and I wanted to know how to say it. I'm opening it in Spanish, so. Uh, yeah. 
That video, I thought it would be offensive, but even all my Spanish-speaking friends said it was hilarious. Alright, so... Let's see. It's really... Mm, it's kind of... Kind of working, kind of not working. Is this, is this acceptable? Alright, this is obviously a smaller... Smaller version. Oh, okay, so... All right, so it's cutting out a smaller version of the regular sardine can size that I usually have. I'll show you in a second. Okay. All right, let's see here. Okay. By the way, um, since I didn't listen to the people tell me to use the ones without sharp edges, yeah, it does kind of ruin the guitar. By the way, uh, Ovation did send me this guitar. I had a video of me unboxing this guitar. It was a live video, and they did send that to me, so thank you, Ovation. All right, um, I don't know if I could use this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put it aside. I don't know if I could use this because the way that I cut it, like, this is really warped. Like, it's just a really weird shape. So, I don't know if that's going to work. I'm going to see if I could cut it out. Um, yeah. I used to save these, by the way, but I became a minimalist, and I started throwing them out. I had hundreds of them, hundreds of them. And, you know, I used to eat sardines every single day. That's just, that was just my diet. Like, it was 80 grams of protein or something like that. Yeah. So I'm trying to see if I can cut just the rim off and not any more off. But, okay. It's actually working. Kind of. The only problem is that it's like curling, curling it too much and it's becoming warped. It has to be, for it to have a good sound, it has to have a nice flat shape. Okay. And that we're not getting that flat shape. But we are getting, yeah, look at that. Like, this is the actual shape, and this is the, this is the shape that we just got. Not to mention, the rim doesn't actually come off. So, fail. Okay, so, I had a feeling this might happen. And despite a lot of uh, philosophical issues I have with this, I did buy a brand new sardine can. That's right, Goya. Now, remember what I said about inflation? A few years ago, they were 219. Now, 299. It happens, it happens. Okay, so when I said philosophical issues, uh, some of you know that in last year, 2018, I became a vegan. So I have not had um, sardines in a long time. Let's see here. But I actually stopped eating sardines. I actually stopped eating sardines before that, and for other reasons, not to be, not just because of my diet, but because I started. I moved out and I started living with people. And uh, the sardines has a really, really hard to get rid of smell, and it's not a very good smell. So I just stopped buying them. And I had to find other fish. Look at that. Look at this. Look at, look at it. Look at it. Absolutely perfect shape. Absolutely perfect. Completely flat and with plenty of tomato paste on the other side. So, um, I gotta make sure this is clean. So I should let you know why I became a vegan. Um, it wasn't to save the animals. Even though I was interested in saving animals, like I knew about veganism for a long time. And I, you know, I thought saving animals was a good concept, but I still wasn't convinced to do it. Um, I did have a lot of health concerns about being vegan. But one day I was, I, I, I did turn vegan and it was completely by accident. Yeah, I just forgot to buy meat that day. I looked at all my groceries. I was like, where's my salmon? Where's my, you know, where's my chicken? Where's my eggs? Where I usually, you know, I usually buy those things. And I, I forgot all three. So I just had a nice, I looked at the other groceries I had and I had enough food. You know, I had enough. I had really, I really had enough. I looked at all my macros, had enough protein, carbs, fat. Like I really didn't need to buy any meat. So I was like, you know what? I'll be vegan for one day. And I'll tell you, that one day I had a vegan meal, I was 
full of energy after that meal. Like I usually when I have a meal, I'm like kind of kind of want to sit down a bit, kind of sleepy. But I was like full of energy. I couldn't believe how much energy I had, and I felt amazing. Like just emotionally, physically, spiritually, everything. I felt great. So I told my friend about it, and I'm like, bro. I turned vegan for one day and I feel amazing. He's like, bro, you should stick it out, man. You should. I was like, nah, I can't do that. Stick it out, man. You should do it. Like, nah, nah, I'm, I'm not gonna do it. He's like, bro, you should do it. And by the way, this is not a, this is not another vegan telling me to do this. It's a meat eater. He told me to stay vegan, and because uh, he thinks that if I felt so good from it, I should just stay that way. So he says, I dare you. I dare you to stay vegan. So I'm like, you dare me. <laughs> That's kind of hard for me to say no. So I said, yes, I'll try it for a month. And I haven't turned back since. It's been, what, six, seven months, eight months? I, I, this, happened in, this happened in April, I think. Either April or May. I think it was May. It was May. Yeah, the middle of May. So that was, to this, to this date, I've been vegan for like yeah, about eight months. And let me tell you, it was not always easy was not always easy, but worth it. And I can tell you, I have not had asthma symptoms. And I, by, by the way, I've, I've had asthma since I was like one year old before I could remember anything. I've been to the hospital more times than I could remember. And I used to love going to the hospital only because I didn't have video games growing up. And when you stayed in the hospital, they let you play video games. Um, but, it, it wasn't fun. It wasn't all. It wasn't all fun. I, I used to get sick all the time. If I ran outside, I would get an asthma attack, and it was just terrible. And I dealt with that for years and years and years until last until last year. I would say I remember going to the gym in September, three months into being vegan, and I just noticed I forgot to take my asthma medicine, and I wasn't having any symptoms at all. So I was like, "Hey, I'm about to, I'm about to stay vegan. This is awesome." So yeah. Um, so I will not be eating these sardines. I'm going to put these outside for a cat or something. And I'm just going to enjoy this awesome new... I've never had a new one on here for like two years. So this is the first time... Um, this is the first time I've ever filmed myself putting one on. Oh, people have asked how do you actually get this, this clip on here. By the way, back in the day, in 2010 or something, like 2011, uh, when I just discovered the whole sardine can thing, uh, I used to hold this up with tape. And with tape, um, it would fall off right in the middle of a song. And if someone gave me the idea, um, his, his name is Fingus, I think. Uh, yeah, that's his name. He, was, uh, he, he, he used to play the keyboard in, in the subway. He said, why don't you get a, uh, a paper clip? So I went to Staples and I, you know, looked for a paper clip, but they didn't have a paper clip that seemed big enough, but they didn't have this. They had binder clips, so I'm like, let me only use that. And it, it was like magic. It stayed on. I never had to worry about it. So this is me playing this sardine can for the first time. like immediately is that I can do way more like rolls and fills and stuff like that because uh, this when it's brand new like this it stays flat on there so I can get a sound with less effort like less attack you know um, and it's not like bouncing up and down so I can do like this easy easy and when it's when it gets older what happens is it starts to bend so it goes off of the off of the the soundboard a little bit, so that when you hit it, it kind of like bounces and stuff, and like it kind of it has like a it has like a recoil effect. And so in the beginning, that was very hard for me to deal with because I didn't have the think the uh, finger strength enough to like counteract it. But now I do, so I've tolerated having older and older sardine cans, and you know to the point where I had one on for two years, and I still played it. 
Um, so putting a fresh new one on is like, is like a whole different experience. Some lucky cat is gonna have a, a mouthful of sardines tonight. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you uh, appreciate you watching my channel. Thanks so much. The Tower Rock 5000. And uh, all the videos you'll see for the next, I don't know, two years maybe we'll be with this one. We'll see. We'll see how long this stays on.